are you sleeping with a psychopath? Now, a psychopath always looks normal, is probably successful, um, likes the best of everything generally, and is not satisfied until they get it. They like to run the show, they like to be in charge and in control, and they like to think they know everything. They don't. Um, they don't because they've never been loved properly and they don't understand love because they just don't seem to have the gene that it takes to understand empathy and uh, sharing. They, they, don't, they seek to devalue, they seek to undermine, and they seek to control. The main thing, though, is not all controllers are or, or, or bad people. They could be coming from a religious standpoint. And, but the, the ones you want to look out for are the ones who seek to subjugate unnecessarily and who uh, threaten, uh, who, who don't respect uh, borders. You're, uh, they cross the line um, in as much as they don't respect your wishes. They will trash your wishes as nonsense and they will sh want to show you something that they think is better. Uh, sometimes it can be really gross stuff that they will um, absolutely convince you that it's the right thing to do to like it and you don't have to like it. Uh, this is where um, Stockholm Syndrome sort of comes alive if you like in people who are trapped with um, psychopaths murderers, killers, uh, sadists. You, um, they, s they seek to subjugate. They, they can have normal sex too. They, you, you could be, they, they like dressing up. They like to, probably like to dress you up and uh, dress you in clothes of their choosing. They're often very good taste and uh, they seem to be very nice clothes and jewelry. And they will give you gifts occasionally, but it's only ever on their terms. It's not when it's, um, it's appropriate for you if you've if you've achieved something nice and you deserve a little hug or a kiss or a present it won't be forthcoming generally because they seek to undermine also if you ever make a move and you ever want to have sex with them god help you but if you ever do want to have sex as a release or whatever um they will reject your advance because it only ever comes from them um they could have learned how to make love in a in technique form but they don't have a sense of timing especially pers your personal timing. They don't have a, a sense of when it would be all right for you to, um, to have sex. Uh, they, they, they find it repugnant that you would want to have sex with them in a way. So this is where the Madonna whore thing comes in. You want to check that out, Madonna whore. Um, it can be very confusing because sex is involved, but they don't do it. It's not a two-way thing for them. They like to dominate it, control it. One of the things uh, that they do is uh, golden showers. Have a look. They they enjoy that. They it's a subjugation thing. It's uh, it's a thoroughly uh, you know they can do normal sex too, but not that often. And sometimes you'll lay your hopes on that 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 they will do something normal. And um, again, you may have had good sex a couple of times. They do that to hook you in. They'll do really good sex a few times, rarely to keep you hooked up to. Um, doing it again to keep you addicted to them rather than to what they really want. So don't assume that that's what they really are or who they, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, they're in control. So they are seeking to subjugate, undermine and control. Those are the things they're looking for. If there's no let up in that, uh, in that pattern of subjugation and control, uh, it, it's likely you could be living with somebody very dangerous and it's best for you to get out because you can't change those people, you never will. Um, and it's, it can be very sad because you can have a great empathy for them and you want them to change, you want them to be feeling better about themselves or their past. They, they could well have had things that made them the way they are. They, sometimes they can break down and say they're aware of how they are and they're going to change. They can't change, that's why they don't change because they're not capable of doing it. So the thing to do is, is um, point them in the direction of the right help. Um, get out if you can. Uh, if you can't, do what you can do. That's what um, the, the Stockholm syndrome is. The is the label given to it, but you don't have to live up to any label. You you survive the way you survive and make your goal um, escape from there, because you you're entitled to a life of your own. You're entitled to a nice life with people who appreciate you for who you are. And you may not even know who you are yet, so you must uh, not devalue yourself 
and um, learn to acquire some skills and, and slide out of there as soon as you can. Best of luck.